So I think we miss the significance of Jesus coming in to Jerusalem on a little donkey. Um, way back in Genesis 4, the writers craft this idea that anytime you are moving east, you are moving away from the promises of God. Uh, it's, it happens when Cain is kicked out of the garden and he goes to the land of Nod, which is east of Eden. And the setup for this entire thing, this entire Palm Sunday event, is Jesus coming from the east, but moving west into the city of Jerusalem. Of course, he's fulfilling the prophetic announcement that, that Zechariah had penned years before. And this idea that when Pontius Pilate comes in, he comes in from the opposite direction. He comes in from the west, but he's moving east. And it's this idea that even the writers understood this deep, complex narrative that they are weaving through themes and really beautiful allegories that a lot of the ancient readers and listeners would have been aware of. And we, we miss this, even the, the idea of the palm fronds being the symbolic sign of the zealot. And so as Jesus is coming into town and they're waving, they understand the Messiah is coming in. He's coming west. The Messiah is moving west. The Messiah is showing us this new thing, this new rabbi with this revolutionary new teaching. He's been talking about the kingdom of God, right? They're strapped. They've got their swords. They've got their slingshots. They're ready to go. Like we are going to finally overthrow the Romans. And you have to realize that Israel for most of its history, was an oppressed nation. It was the minority. It was the little brother that got sat on. It was the, it was the forgotten thing that was imprisoned or taken away or enslaved or whatever your take is. And so to have the boot of the oppressor on your neck and to finally see the prophetic promise coming into the city from the correct direction, of course you're going to grab your palm fronds. Of course, you're going to get ready for a revolution. Here comes the Jesus revolution. Here comes the fight we've been waiting for. And I, I love that text in Luke. It says Jesus wept as he came into the city. Jesus wept as he's coming into the city because he knows that they don't understand that his kingdom is not of this world. His kingdom is not of swords and revolutions. It's of peace and love and forgiveness and the transformation of people's lives. I think we just missed some of these details because we know the story of Palm Sunday. Uh, we know the songs. We know, we know the stories from, from even from Sunday school, and there's nothing wrong with teaching those stories. But as we get older, we have to understand some of the deeper context and understand and put ourselves in the shoes of the people that were dying to be set free and realize that their, their freedom came from the kingdom of God, not from the kingdom of man. I really love that story.